I tried so hard to get away from these guys. Oh, man. All right. Well, damn it, Jim. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy of an Old Guy Gaming, and we are picking up right where we <laughs> where we screwed up and died in the last episode. Man, I just I was I was completely overwhelmed um, because it turned night, um, and I was already in a tier four um, a POI anyway, and I just couldn't uh, couldn't make it work. So we tried, but yeah. So let's get our uh, backup armor on. And we're going to head back over there and retrieve our stuff. Uh, let's yeah, let's put this stuff on first. And we need boots. Do I not have heavy boots? Maybe I don't. Okay, I guess we'll just use the military boots then. They're still pretty good too, uh, for sure. And actually, we sh these pants are probably better than these. So these we'll actually just take with us to sell. Uh, because that's kind of what we were doing. We were on our way over uh, to do some selling when... And I decided just kind of as a... Wasn't even planning on it, but, you know, we drove by that POI. And we had, we've had it in the quest log forever. So I figured, well, what the heck, let's just do it. And yeah, well, that didn't turn out so good. Is this completely broken? Durability, da, 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 da. Uh, condition. Not completely, but almost. But I don't have enough steel with me to repair it, unfortunately. Uh, so we're just going to have to wear it as is. But this is our backup set anyway, so not super critical if it isn't fully repaired. Um, and then as far as the clothing goes, you know what? I don't think I'm going to actually worry about that for, for just going back. Okay, we need to get a backup weapon to take with us. We have plenty of backup weapons. I think what we'll do is let's grab the FAR. Is that those of you who who know is that does that stand for field assault rifle? Is that what FAR actually stands for? I looked it up once, but I I don't remember if I got uh, or figured out exactly what that meant. Field assault rifle. I could be making shit up, or maybe that's what it is actually, uh, what it actually means. All right, let's also take a backup melee weapon with us, which probably this will be good. And I think, I think we're good to go. We're gonna need to do something about medicine because I'm, uh, I don't really have any medicine. All my pills and bandages are in our bag, and I don't even have very many there, so. Hmm. All right, well, we're just going to have to be super, super duper, super, super duper careful. We could take a shepherd's pie with us because that will provide a lot of healing. So we can do that. Uh, oh, and yeah, we need we need the mini bike. Let's take that with us too. All right, let's head on back and retrieve our stuff and then just kind of continue where we left off here. What is this doing? 14 out of 50. So, okay, that need... Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Need to wait for that to charge some more. And we're not taking the mining cart with us. I opened all this up, too, so I could actually drive the mining cart in here. So let's get this down and head on back to get our stuff. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, let's go get our stuff. Hopefully it's not going to be too terribly difficult to retrieve this. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was like running all over the place trying to get rid of uh trying to evade those guys or kill them, but uh, it's just too too much. We just got overrun, man. That's all there is to it. There's our backpack right there. Okay. Um why didn't our toolbar repopulate? I've got a bad feeling about this. That's really weird. A bear? Where's the bear? And I can't move. Oh, is there a wandering horde going through? 
Oh shit! Damn it, Jim! I'm encumbered, so let's just stay here and for a second. Are you coming? I don't think they know I'm here now. What if I stand up? There we go. Come here. Oh, he doesn't know I'm here. Okay. <laughs> that was bizarre. Uh, all right, let's see. We need to, what do we need to do? Okay, now we got him. I'm probably encumbered because I don't have my armor on for one thing. So let's go back to here and get the right armor on. Can I move now? Yeah, now I can move. Okay. Yeah, that's weird that the toolbar didn't reset like it normally would do. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Let's see. Sniper rifle goes in five. Knife goes in six. You can go here. Okay, I think we're back in business as far as our equipment goes. Let's get the giblets off the bear here. I need to, uh, to make some more... Um, uh, what are they called? Steroids. I'm getting really low on steroids. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, let's go drop a couple things off at the motorcycle. All right, so fat loots, and then we're out of here. Do we go this way? Did we even come in here? No, I don't think we came in through here. Nothing in the coffin. That's locked. We might get a repair kit out of this, so let's definitely try and unlock it. We'll go counterclockwise first. Nope, looks like it's clockwise. There we go. One more little tap that way. Four things of plastic. Can't say that that was worth it so much. Repair before picking up. Now let's just get rid of it. Okay. There's a thing down there with some brass in it. Do I have... Uh, yeah, I do have some steroids. Let's just take this because I want to... I want to get moving here. All right, how do we get downstairs? Well, I guess we could go this way. I never checked this. Got some corn seed. This room should be clear. Uh, yeah, we, we failed the quest, unfortunately. Return to trader, talk to trader. Oh. According to that, we didn't fail it. Or did we? Wait a minute, let's look. Oh, look at that! The quest is still active. We must have killed the last required Zombo in that all that mayhem. All right, awesome. That is fan-friggin-tastic. Uh, barrel extender. You know, we might actually want to use that at some point, so let's learn it. Let's see what's in here. Nice little supply of ammo and a large motor tool tank, which I'll probably end up putting on one of, you know, one of these tools here. That's pretty decent loot. What's this? Sliding glass door. Yeah, what the heck? Let's learn it. We might actually want to use some of that stuff in our end game base design. Get some honeycomb out of there. All right. You lock. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to need to take one of these. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you guys, I hit mining 100. Let's look at that for a second. And we have a perk point to spend as well. Uh, let's actually do the perk point. I think we were working on perception. So we could get archery up. Um, what about penetrator? No, penetrator's going to need another perception point. What about lucky looter? We could get lucky looter up. Living off the land. Harvest three. 
Farm plots cost 50% less to craft. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to get this just because we get the three items. But I think for this time around, I'm just going to put another point directly into Perception so we can get the next level in Penetrator. Uh, oh, no, we need two points for that. Okay, well, we'll, have, we'll wait then. All right, anyway, um, did I take... Yeah, I took that. Okay, counterclockwise first. There we go. Go that way a little further. And we got it. Okay, a pretty nice steel spear. Oh, look at that. Find more junk and loot, which means higher quality. We'll take that for sure. We're going to just sell this. And, of course, we'll take the ammo. Okay, that wasn't too bad a loot, really, all things considered. Um, do we want to go through here or not? I don't know if there's any... Is there any more loot in here for us to grab? There's some basic stuff. Yeah, we got a box here. Box there. We'll grab this. We can get some paper out of here. And then that, we just have to dig our way out. Uh, well, yeah, you know, that might actually be the fastest thing to do. Let's just dig our way out here. All right, I'm going to do that, and I'll meet you guys over at the trader. All right, guys, we're at the trader, and uh, so I have uh, put stuff in the bike that I'm not going to sell or that I have too many of, like these iron boots, for example. So all this stuff will take back to the base. This is what I have in my inventory, um, and a few of these things will also go back to the base. And then uh, Roberta the Robot Robotic Drone has uh, most of the weapons and tools that we wanted to sell. So let's head on into here. Hello, traveler. And let's turn in our quest Anything first. So we get a steel club yes. worth 768. We will take that. And I'm not worried about taking jobs at the moment. Okay, so Roberta, How let's may get I assist you? all the stuff out of out of you, which is going to probably encumber us. Well, it it does, but we can still move. Okay, let's go into our inventory here, and we're going to sort stuff by value. Um, sort by price descending. Okay, very good. So that starts here. Now, let's eat the pumpkin cheesecake. Let's put on, uh, or rather take um, a sugar butts. We already have the cigar in the mouth. Uh, I'm not able to make the uh, awesome sauce yet, so I don't have that. And you can see that we already have 40,000 coin on us at present okay so let's start selling um stuff and see how much money we can make so let's take a look at your inventory and we want to sell the full stack uh which one of these crossbows is our crossbow it's going to be the one that's equipped okay so this we're going to sell and we have Duplicates, of course, we want to make sure we sell the one that has the most, or that's the most valuable first. That is actually our real shovel. We don't want to sell that. Okay, so let's do a sort here, and that gets us up to um, almost 100,000 coin, which is pretty good. And then everything else, they don't want to buy. What, what about this guy, though? I think this guy is the same thing, right? Or is he? Never mind. He'll buy these, too. Okay, that's even better. So we, we don't even need to travel to the other traders. We got everything sold here. That's great. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. I think we want to keep the rest of these resource items. So yeah, we are sitting at 101,862 coin, which is really, really nice. Fantastic. Okay. okay. Now, let's, uh, since we're here, let's buy a few things. Anything that we can make the high-end stuff with, we're going to want to buy. Um, pretty good on health bars. I need one of those. We'll take a beef cut. Ravioli... Uh, I got a bunch of sugar butts back at the ranch, so I think we're going to pass on those. We'll take a hackers, a sham, a peas, and an atom jackets. 
rest of stuff we don't need. Now, let's take a look at their inventory. I wasn't even really paying attention to that because I was busy doing this other stuff. Okay, so just going to kind of quickly scan through this and see if there's anything here we might be interested in purchasing. How much for all of those books? 1722. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. I'm not sure yet if that's what I'm going to if I'm going to buy those from him though. Silver ingots. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Grave digger and then it kind of gets into what I started selling him. Okay, let's look at secret stash. Hollow point round lock picking forgetting elixir. How much is that? That's normally Ooh, yeah, that's expensive. Okay. We could get another auto turret. It's not that expensive for the mine. Uh, powered spike strap. You know, these might be fun to try on horde uh, on the horde base. Have built-in sensors that when powered trigger internal servos and positions to quickly push out deadly metal spikes. Yeah, let's let's do that. They're not super expensive. Let's buy a couple of those and see if we can do something with those for, with, on our horde base. I think I'm going to buy this other turret, too. Eh, hmm, eh, maybe I won't. <laughs> we can make that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's not spend money on that. We can make that. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here I want to buy. We could buy those for points, uh, for research data, but I don't think I will do that. Y'all right. come back now. Y'all come back now. Let's see what your inventory is. Okay. How much are these? Those are kind of spendy, and I can make them, but they're also expensive to make. All right, let's look at a secret stash. Some dart ammo. A cooling mesh. Forgetting elixir. He's probably sells those for... Okay, here's a Night Stalker. Uh, gain 5% more XP from kills at night. Uh, I think we'll buy that. I don't care about the electric speaker. He's got a shotgun turret, and that's probably about it. My pleasure. Okay, let's read this. Yeah, we'll see if we can have some fun with these powered spike traps. That could that could be neat. Okay, so I think that's it, guys, for our sales. But since we're kind of in sales mode here, uh, I think I'm going to run over to the other traders and just check their inventories. Um, we are we're we're going to just go ahead and let this money burn a hole in our pocket my experience with seven days to die is in the late game you have piles and piles of money with nothing to spend it on so I'm I'm not really too concerned about spending money um, I oh we're at the wrong house wait are we yeah I had to drop some stuff off into a, a trash bag because it was so heavy the motorcycle couldn't even carry it with all everything we had. It's right here. Uh, so these items, none, none of which I wanted to sell. Okay, so we got those two. Um, all right, yeah, so let's go hit the other, uh, a couple other traders that are rel reasonably nearby. And then um, after that, we're going to head back out to the mine. And I'm going to kind of show you what I've done with it so far and make a few more improvements. I, I need to remember to stop by the back by the base. Well, i got to do that anyways to drop stuff off because I have a bunch of uh, spike traps that we made. So I will see you at the next trader. Right. All right. Let's see what Raiden has. Scrap pistol. I've got a bad feeling about this. Peacekeeper shotgun. Goodbye. Do we have incoming? Here, let's just close this so we don't got to worry about it. See oh. you later. He got in. He got in before the door closed. Uh, all right, I'm not really seeing anything here that's jumping out at me. Let's look at Secret Stash. Pistol Pete Volume 2. We'll buy that. A powered hatch, a chainsaw, an old van, batter up volume three, power attacks to the leg, slow enemies, pistol beat volume three. Is that what we just bought? No, we bought two. Okay, so let's buy that. Magnum 44 moonshine recipe. We don't know this, do we? We don't. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll, th I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Okay, let's read both of these. 
and now let's go check Hugh. Our good buddy Hugh. We will take... Is soup stock... I think soup stock's using one of the recipes, isn't it? Uh... Recipe. Yeah, in gumbo stew. I, that's right. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll take a skull crusher and an eye candy. And I think that's really all we need from here. Could you be any louder? You trying to wake the dead? Okay. What you got, man? It's got a renegade motorcycle, an ergonomic grip. He's got the jackhammer schematic, but, I mean, we already have an A-level jackhammer. So I don't think I'm going to spend money on that. What's this? Shock of Messiah Volume 6. You can... Oh, yeah, we want that. Two mods. Definitely want that. Okay. And tuna fish gravy. We don't have that, so we'll take it. Okay, let's look at a secret stash. Street light quad. Interesting. Spear Hunter, we don't care about. Shotgun Choke, we have. There's a cheap auger. How much is it? Eh, it's not that cheap. Because <laughs> uh, we burned up our auger in for something we needed to make. First day bandage, we already know. Okay, yeah, he doesn't really have anything else I'm too terribly interested That's in. That's right. Do the math. Okay, let's learn this. Hey, nice. We got the last shotgun. Okay, what does that give us? Let's take a look. Collectibles. Shotgun Messiah. You can craft, you can one shot most wood blocks and bulk craft all shotgun ammo. Very nice. Okay. Oh, that, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not the, super good, but it's not super bad. Incoming enemy. Prepare for conflict. Okay, let's go check. Uh, we have another trader even further to the east this way. Uh, I need to check the map, so we'll deal with this Yahoo. <laughs> So, yeah, that trader up there didn't... Hey, well, didn't we find a trader over here, though, too, in this little town? If we did, I forgot the market. Um, I don't remember. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over that way. Because chances are there is a trader over there, and I might... I probably just forgot the market on the map. Yeah, right. It was this this trader Master, the we are not alone. compound with the tower and everything. Oh crap! There's a bear right there. All right, let's see if we can get down here without attracting attention. We got buzzard attention. Greetings, friends. All right, what you got, Ellen? A Dune Runner frame, seventeen thousand. I'm buying it. There's learning elixir. All right, we're buying that. Those two things right there were worth the price of admission. Um, uh, and I think that's all I want to buy from her normal stash. Okay, we got Machine Gunner Volume Two. Fully automatic mode does one percent more damage per hit until you miss. That is really nice. Actually, we'll take that. We already know the gyrocopter frame. Uh, what's this? That's an SUV. Exotic alloy kit. Reading this command will teach you how to craft this item. Um, I don't remember exactly what this does, but I have a feeling we want it, so we're getting it. Incoming enemies. Good. Prepare for conflict. All right. How about you? Okay, not really spotting anything in normal stash. What about your secret? Ooh, you got a you got a, a hum V. That's we can't we don't have enough money to buy that. This I would like to do. I'd like to buy that. Uh, Dune Runner seat. Let's buy that. We're making the Dune Runner, man. It's gonna happen. We already have the learning elixir, and I think okay. that's okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, exotic alloy. 
What does this do? Increased damage to undead targets. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I think... Wait a minute. Don't we have that? We do have that. All right. Well, now I know... Now I can make it. It probably requires titanium, amongst other things. We're actually quite thirsty. Um, and I don't have any food on me, but we're not really too terribly hungry at the moment. Oh, no, wait. Duh. <laughs> I do have food on me. Uh, let's eat this now. And that will easily top off our food. And probably heal us all the way back up, too. We'll throw back a few of those. All right. How much money do I have left? Uh, we still have 64,000 coin left. I've already looted this place. So let's go back to... Uh, or go to the other trader. Uh, which is just north of here. We'll see what they have. Ah, crap. We're too heavy again. Okay, that means we're going to have to stash some things. Uh, okay, so stash. Is there anything outside we could stash? I'm not seeing anything like really close by. Here's a trash thingy. Okay, so what we gotta do here is we have to put heavy stuff in here that we don't need to take back with us right now. Which is kind of all of... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I wanna take all of that back. And of course we don't wanna put our money in there. We don't really have a whole lot of options in here, do we? Oh, crap! Shit! Ooh. I didn't realize he was that close to us. Off at your head. That's way too far away for a shotgun. Um... Okay, let's loot this guy so we can make ourselves even more heavy. Here, we got more incoming. Let's just deal with them. Oh, shit. He's still alive? Okay. Um, all right, let's look in here. What do we have in here that's like super heavy that we don't need to take back with us right now? We can put that, we can stash that, we can stash these. Uh, I'm actually really low on bullet tips. We can stash that stuff. Oh, I forgot to sell, oh darn it, I forgot to sell these boots. Uh, that stuff needs to be repaired, so I'm not gonna sell it right now. Well, some of that's our, our backup armor anyway. Okay, so... All of that I really kind of want to take back with me. We can keep the sand, meat, and bones here. Not that those are that heavy. Okay, let's go stash these things. See you oh, soon. right. We can sell to both of them. I should have grabbed six boots. Can't take them anywhere. Certainly. Good. Okay, so that lightens us up and gets us a little more cash. And we should be able to finish selling the remaining boots to the trader up north that we're going to go see right now. Let me grab those out of here, though. And, yeah. This car engine is super heavy, too, but can we get on the bike and ride it? Yeah, okay. We're good. So at some point in the future, I might come back for that stuff in the drop chest, but if I don't, it's all, none of it's significant, so we don't have to worry about it too much. All right, I'll see you guys at the North Trader. All right, Trader Jen. Yeah, I see your inventory. We want to sell these to you. And then we'll see what you got for sale. 
diodes. Very simple light diode using electronics. Thanks so that's something business. I can make if I need to. We're open from dawn to dusk since, you know, we don't have clocks. Does not look like I can make those. It doesn't even come up. Uh, all right, we better buy those. They're not very expensive. All right, what else you have? Painkillers, learn an elixir. How much do you charge for those? Two, four, yeah, let's buy a couple painkillers because we're low. Let's get a smoothie. Nah, we don't need a smoothie. We're good. Okay, let's look at a secret stash. A buggy engine. I know I already have those, so we don't need to worry about purchasing those. Sniper. Da, 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 da. Moonshine recipe. Brass knuckles recipe. Not really interested in any of that stuff. Okay. Thanks for letting um, me take care Also, of in case you guys are curious. Tell your friends. I did forget to mark this trader, so we're going to do that right now. I use the dollar sign for traders. There we go. And that way, if I, in, you know, three or four weeks from now, if I'm looking for a trader and I'll go, did I, is there a trader in that southeast town or not? Now, now we'll know. Okay, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for the trader action for today. Um, we're still walking My away have with over 69,000 coin in addition to all of the cool things that we purchased. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see where we're at with the Dune Runner stuff. I know I have some parts, um, and we also, you know, can make some parts now from the schematics that we got, so that's good. So I think what the plan now is to go back to the base, drop all this crap off, and then meet you guys out at the mine uh, and show you kind of where that is at. So, yeah, I'll see you out at the mine. All right, guys, we are out at the mine. Oh, really, lady? Got a little stun action there. Okay, so, um, as you can see, we have... All right, this is what I've, I've done uh, so far uh, with the mine. And I wasn't... I, I had mentioned to you guys one or two or three, I don't know, episodes ago that I was going to just stick with the rectangle I started with. But, but then, you know, as I got down a little further, I got to thinking that that doesn't really make sense what we need to do is we need to follow the ore uh, the, the ore vein and so um i started you know going back this way which of course caused a little bit of collapse there but um hopefully you know this ore vein won't go too much further that direction it does a little bit there um and but we can get away with it without it collapsing so we'll just see how how things go but yeah it just made more sense for me to follow the ore vein rather than just stay in the rectangular uh, part that we started with so what we're going to do here this little entrance that i have here is temporary it's not going to stay this way uh, what we'll probably actually end up doing is as we get deeper and deeper we'll make we'll continue making uh new um, what am I trying to say? Accesses, you know, uh, access ramps into it and, and just keep pushing them further back as as we get deeper. So, okay. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to finish. Uh, so the idea here is that I was thinking about putting a wall up around here, but then I got to thinking, well, why don't we just put one row of concrete and then put the spikes on top of the concrete? And then it, it effectively, you know, because it's a two block high thing, the Zombos will try and jump up on it and then they'll land up on the spikes and we'll just see how well this works so um yeah so what i want to do is i want to get these wooden spikes and i've got uh, some iron plating too that we can upgrade them with once we have them placed it's really laggy right now but so what else is new right okay and then i've also gone along and there we go. I've gone along and repaired everything here too, so all of the existing spikes should be fully repaired. Okay, so let's get these in place here. I think I'll I'll place them first, and then I'll come back and upgrade them after they're all placed. And once I the other the other thing I'm gonna do though too is once I get all of the spikes on the top here, then I'm gonna do another row down along here too. And what that's going to do, of course, is, uh, you know, cause cause more damage, snag the zombies even more, and give the turrets up above 
even more time to take them out so they're not just jumping down on our heads immediately. Okay, so I think that patches all the holes. Let's go ahead and get these new ones upgraded to iron. What, what's going on here? I'm bouncing up and down. Oh, buzzards. Do we have a buzzard horde coming in? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, the hit points on these are weird. You have to kind of aim at the leg. Aw, oh, shit. I need to make, um... Oh, nice. I need to make some more uh, 10 millimeter too, because my turrets are pretty low. And I'm actually low on, on lead, of all things. I usually have an abundance of lead. I can't get to this. Oh, wait. Right there. All right. Decent stuff. Oh, speaking of which, 10 millimeter rounds right there. All right. Let's put half in each one of the turrets. That worked out pretty nicely. So we'll just put half in there. And half over here. And then, uh, yeah, then I'm going to do another row of spikes, you know, like these are here all along the bottom, too. And then we'll see how that, how well that does as we continue moving forward here. Okay, so yeah, let's finish getting the wooden ones upgraded first. Crap, it's almost night. I was, go I was hoping to get a little bit of mining done, too, but it's just, it's not a good idea to mine at night. We can we can do it, but you know if, if they're just gonna do a shit ton of damage to the to the base here. So I think for that reason alone, I'm not gonna do it. I like the design of these spikes with the you know with the rope and stuff. I have some more iron in here. I don't have enough iron to do the second row as uh, as iron, so those will just have to be wood for now until until we do. But I think everything along the concrete now is is upgraded to iron. All right. Now, one thing I'd like to do. Is there any zombies around? Not including the zombie bear over there. What I hope what I hope they don't do, and I'm not. 100% sure about this is stand here and hit on the spikes because if they do that I don't think they'll take damage huh. I, I don't see any Zeeks around so so we got to watch out for that bear okay so yeah what I'm going to do now is just go along and do another row of spikes all along here and between all of that the concrete the extra spikes we should probably grab that. Except for I don't have anything to patch the hole with. Uh, I could... Eh. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. We've got so much titanium. It's not even funny. So anyway, what I was saying is, you know, with the extra spikes, the con uh, the concrete barrier now, and the turrets and all that, uh, we should have pretty decent protection for, for daytime zombos. The night's just, it's too much. And although the base will do a, you know, pretty decent job of holding up against them, it's just going to get torn up, and then I'm going to have to do all the repairing, and it's not worth it. Obviously, i got to make some more wood spikes, so I'll do that overnight. Because that is the last one. Very good. All right, guys. So that's uh, going to wrap up this episode. So what I'm going to do, let's see. It's 104. Hard Night's on day 105, which is shit. That's tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to probably focus on. No, no, probably. We are going to have to focus on getting the Horde base ready for 105. And um, we bought those those uh, plunging spike trap thingamadoodles. Uh, so we'll try those out. I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put those uh, on the horde base and get it all repaired and ready to go. And then if I have time, I'm, I'll probably come out here and just do some off-camera mining until 
the Horde Night starts. So most likely, unless I have a compelling reason to bring you back before then, I'll see you at the start of Horde Night 105. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.